This hood decal in matte black is for those of you that have a 2018 and up JL that are looking for a mod that is easy to install, inexpensive and completely removable, but is going to have a really big impact on the look of your Jeep. This is going to be a one out of three wrenches for the installation. Even if you've never installed vinyl before, I'm gonna show you how to get this installed in a way that's very easy and very, very forgiving. And we'll get to that in just a second. So vinyl like this is a great way to do exactly what I just mentioned. Change the look of your Jeep very dramatically. It's inexpensive and easy to install, and that's what this is going to be all about. This is, however, going to be mostly an aesthetic modification, so it's really all about the look. If you like the way this looks on your Jeep, it's gonna be a good buy for you. If you don't, go ahead and move on to something else. I like this matte black vinyl, especially on a louder color like this pumpkin Jeep here, or maybe one of the Mojito Jeeps. I really like the black and bright color contrast, but again, it's completely up to you. Whatever color your Jeep is, if you like this, it's gonna be a great option for you. Now, this vinyl is going to be an incredibly high quality piece. This is made out of four mil vinyl. It's designed to last up to eight years out in the weather without cracking, peeling, fading, any of that stuff. And it is also going to be printed on an air release material, which, is, which essentially means that there are runners that go horizontally and vertically in the adhesive surface of the vinyl so that if you have an air bubble right in the middle here, it's very easy to squeegee that right to the edge. If you didn't have that air release material, it would be much harder to get a very flat install like this, especially for somebody who's a novice like myself. Like I said, they make this very easy to install even if you've never done it before. Now, for all of the above mentioned reasons, this vinyl is going to be a little bit more expensive than some of the other options out there. But if you ask me, it's worth it to pay the about $50 for this piece versus something that's much less expensive and is going to be much harder to install. Some of that other stuff, once you stick it down, you can't really peel it back up. If you end up with air bubbles, you might end up completely destroying the piece. This, yes, you're spending a little bit more money, but you know you're gonna get a nice clean install and you know it's gonna last a long time. So as I mentioned, one out of three wrenches, let me show you how to do it. For this installation, we used a nine millimeter socket driven by our three eighths electric impact. We also used a trim removal tool, a small straight blade screwdriver, a sharp utility knife, some soapy water in a spray bottle, the squeegee that comes in the kit, and a clean microfiber towel. So like I mentioned before, this is gonna be a very straightforward one out of three wrench installation. However, on the JL, there are a couple of things we need to remove before we can get the decal installed. And that's going to start by popping the hood and removing the heat shield that's underneath. So this is the heat shield or the heat insulation we're gonna be removing and it's held in by some plastic clips all along the outside here. So we'll use our trim removal tool to pull those clips. With all the clips removed, we can take the insulation out from underneath the hood. The next thing we're going to do is remove the windshield washer hose from the windshield washer assembly itself. If we work it back and forth a little bit, it should come off. If it does fight you, you can use a small straight blade screwdriver to help it along. We'll do the same thing on the other side. The next step is removing these nuts on the back side of the hood bumpers. And with the nuts removed, we can grab the hood bumper on the back side and wiggle it free. With the hood bumper removed, we can also remove the squirter for the windshield washer. This just requires you to pinch both sides here from the underside, and then it'll press right out the top of the hood. Now we can repeat the same process on the other side.
With the bumpers and squirters removed from the hood, the next step is going to be cleaning everything really well. We're just going to be using soap and water for this process. We don't want to add anything that could be oily or that could keep the decal from sticking well. If you have any sort of oily residue, if you have a lot of wax on your Jeep, you could use some sort of wax remover or a isopropyl alcohol that'll also help to remove some of the wax just to get it down to a nice clean surface so that we get the best adhesion possible. So we have our soapy water here in our spray bottle. We'll spray everything down and wipe it clean. So I'll start with this corner here, peeling that up off the backing. Work my way along. Like so. And then I'm just gonna fold the backing paper underneath to get it out of the way. There we go. And now we're ready to get that first part of the decal stuck down. And this is where I'm gonna apply my soapy water again. Out of the back of the decal and on the hood itself. Get it lined up left to right, and then flip the decal over onto the hood. So what we're gonna do is center it up left to right and also make sure that it's right along the edge of the hood here. Once we have it sitting where we like it, we're gonna use the included squeegee to get some of that moisture out from underneath the decal and get it to stick down. With this part of the decal established, it's really just a matter of peeling back the rest of the backing paper. As we go, we'll spray the soapy water mixture between the hood and the decal until we get all the way to the end, then we can squeegee everything out. Now, just to make sure this part isn't going to move around, I'm gonna put one arm on here, put the other arm underneath the rest of the decal as I peel. Now in this area, you do want to be careful that you're not going to wrinkle or tear the decals, so we'll be a little extra careful there. Just going to make sure we have plenty of soapy water underneath the decal as we move. That way we can still move it around and get it positioned where we like it and it's not sticking down permanently in place. A little more of that soapy water under there. So the great thing about doing this installation with the soapy water is I can move the entire decal around here freely to get it sitting exactly where I want it before it's permanently stuck down. And that adds a lot of forgiveness to this install and makes it very, very easy. So again, we're just gonna make sure it's lined up along the top of the hood here, where we like it. Looks like it's sitting pretty good there. We'll check left to right, we'll check all the other lines, make sure it's exactly where we want it, and then we can go ahead and squeegee everything out. Now, the design of this vinyl has little runners underneath of it designed to allow the air out. So all you need to do is squeegee from the center to the edges and it's gonna let all that moisture and all that air out, leaving you with no air bubbles. So we'll start here in the middle and work our way to the outside. And we'll do the same thing all the way around. Always pushing inside out.
With all the air bubbles out, we can switch from the squeegee back to our microfiber and give everything a nice wipe, drying it up, making sure that there are no hidden air bubbles underneath our soapy water. The next thing we're going to do is get a very sharp razor knife, a brand new blade, and we're gonna cut out the areas where we need open holes to put the hood bumpers and the windshield washer sprayers back in place. So you can do a variety of things here. What I'm gonna do is just start pretty close in the middle and cut through to the edges. And I'm just going to really score an X in here. And I'm gonna leave that material. I'm not gonna try and remove it. I'm not gonna try and cut out a perfect circle. I'm just gonna leave the X and that's all just gonna get tucked underneath and hidden underneath where our bumpers and everything else that we're putting back on the hood is going to go. Cut that, make sure that's all the way through. We have the clearance we need and then we'll move on to the next hole here. And just start in the middle, work your way to the edge of the hole. The opposite direction. Back to the middle perpendicular to that. And finish that going the other way. Again, you want to use a very, very sharp knife here to keep from pulling and tearing at the vinyl. I want it to cut cleanly through. You can use your finger to feel where the edges are and make sure you're cutting out the proper shape. And that's gonna do it. So we have a total of five holes here on each side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we can reinstall our bumpers and our washers. With all the air bubbles removed and everything wiped down, it's time to reinstall our washer nozzle and our bumpers. So we're gonna go ahead and push these through from the top side, get them clipped in there. And then we can go back to the underside and reinstall all the hardware. Do the same thing over on the other side here. Get everything repositioned on the hood. Now we'll pop the hood and reinstall the nuts on the underside. Now we'll reinstall the nuts that hold those hood bumpers in place. Get those tightened down. Once those are tightened, we're also going to reattach our washer tubes to the washer nozzle themselves. Now we can move over to the other side and do the same thing. The last step before dropping the hood is reinstalling the heat insulation. So there are two uh, little metal tabs on the underside of the hood that the insulation is going to sit in. Once you have it sitting in those tabs, then you can rotate it up and pop back in all of the plastic push pins. We're gonna be reusing our plastic push pins that were on the Jeep from the factory. These are very inexpensive and they are really only a one-time use piece for the most part. So it's probably a good idea if you're gonna be doing this installation run to the auto parts store, pick up a handful of new clips. It'll make the installation a little bit nicer. Once the hood's latched back down, you can give everything a final wipe down, make sure there are no additional air bubbles and everything's nice and clean. And that's gonna do it for the installation. So if you are looking for something that's going to drastically change up the look of your Jeep while being very inexpensive and easy to install, I would definitely recommend this hood decal and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.